Now you will fracture the wine glass using a Boolean operation. To start, let's take the wine glass, center that here, and let's add in a grid. So this will be a, a totally new grid that we place at the origin. Press enter to place at the origin. We're going to set it to a YZ plane. We're going to change its size to 5, 8. And um, if we die, double click to dive in here, we can also place that up uh, four units up off the ground. So it's basically encompassing the wine glass as a service we can draw on. Spacebar B, spacebar B. And we can see that grid and the wine glass. So if you take the select tool and press W to go into wireframe, uh, you can then press uh, that allows you to see where the bullet is uh, in relation to the wine glass in relation to this grid. Press N to get everything. And we're going to do a thing called draw curve. We're going to draw more organic uh, curves on this surface. So we draw a little bit along here. And notice we're just trying to sort of bypass the bullet a little bit, create a, play, create a hole for the bullet to come and hit uh, and have cracks radiating out uh, away from that. And there we go. So you can add uh, as many lines as you see fit here. Uh, maybe we add one more into there. And then let's add a few so, so the stem itself uh, actually breaks. Another one in the middle there. So we're going to get some breaks in the stem as well as some breaks uh, up above. So once we have that, we just go to the Select tool, press N to select all of that. And we're going to go uh, Polygons, Polyextrude. And... Just like we did before, we're going to extrude them in 3D space uh, globally. So we're going to go translate 4.5. And if we go spacebar B, spacebar B, we can see all of those extruded out there. Now, once we have that, uh, we can add some divisions. Uh, number one, we're going to translate negative, and then we're going to add in four divisions. So this uh, can then be moved. So we're going to transform that um, 4.5 or 2.25, so that's half of the 4.5, so that it, these uh, extruded faces are intersecting with the glass. Now, if we double-click on one of these surfaces, we can go Tab, uh, Duplicate, and we can create a duplicate that we then just go and rotate at a different angle, just to create some variation in there. Double-click on this one, Tab, Duplicate, and just like we did before, I rotate that around. This will create some different variation in those pieces that we have. And you can do a few more if you want, or that maybe that's enough. Now to create a little more agitation in the look of the cracks, we press N again, and we're going to go Tab Mountain, and set the amplitude to 0 0.75. And that will give us a little more agitation in the points of the surface, uh, to help create interesting looking cracks. Go tab null, put a null object at the bottom, and we're going to call this fracture out. So the fracture geo that we just created that we're going to use to boolean against the, the wine glass uh, is there. We go back to the object level. Now this we're going to just call this uh, fracture geo, and we can actually hide that. We'll now go into the wine glass, and to bring that in from the other one, go tab object merge, click on object one, and get fracture out from the other object, and we're, we now have that in the same network. We're going to go tab boolean, and here we're going to go from the subdivide and attach both the boolean and the object merge together. We're going to set B as a surface and subtract to uh, the operation to shatter. Now, what does this do? Let's see. So we're going to go tab exploded view. This is a node that actually allows us to evaluate um, fractured geometry. And we can get a feel for what those fractures are looking like uh, after the edits that we made. So you can see a little bit of density of smashing in the center where the bullet hits. And then it goes off from there. And if we go W, you can get a feel for that as well.
WVAC into wireframe. And you notice that we left the null for glass out, sort of the, the glass before it was fractured. Uh, we're still going to use that for certain things. So that stain, and then we're going to call this one glass fracture underscore out. So there's two versions of this uh, that we can work with. Uh, one is the fractured version, and one is the there is fractured out versus glass out. It doesn't have any fracturing. And when we go to render later, we're going to you know, want those to switch at the point of impact.